Hi, I'm Grady from Newtown High School and today we'll be talking to Daniel from Preston Lane Architects. So what's your role at Preston Lane Architects? Um, I'm a director of Preston Lane Architects. We're a young company with offices in Hobart and Melbourne. Can you tell us a bit about Preston Lane Architects? Yeah, look, we're a young company. Um, we probably specialise in residential primarily. However, more recently we've become more involved in commercial work. Um, so we're doing a little bit 50% commercial and 50% residential at the moment. What does a typical day look like at Preston Lane Architects? Um, every day is different um, being an architect. One day you might come in, um, you've got meetings um, with clients. Another day you might be doing some drawing. And another day you might be coming out on site to do with a builder and the like. What's your favourite part about being an architect? Yeah, look, it is the diversity. Um, so not one day is the same. Um, you don't get bored with one situation, but also I suppose those little sort of things which you might do, or little change you might be able to make for a client, um, does make a big difference in their life, I suppose. What are some of the opportunities of the industry that some people might not realise? Um, I think it's architecture can sort of go anywhere. Um, you can sort of have that potential to go to the mainland or international as well. Um, so you're not really hemmed into the one thing all the time. Um, and I think that's a really important thing. What education and experience do you have? Um, I have a Bachelor of Environmental Design and I also have a Bachelor of Architecture um, which I undertook at the University of Tasmania. Who's suited to something like this? Um, it's really a broad range of people. Um, there are some people that are very good at drawing, there are some people that are very good with computers, there's also some people that are very good at organising things. So to be an architect I think you need to be have a, a, quite a number of those attributes but some people that are very skilled in just one of those can be a very good architect as well. For those that want to get involved in architecture, what kind of pathways would you have to look at? Um, I think art's very important as far as the, you know, the design process. Um, maths is also important, also science. Um, for myself, at, um, when I went to college, I did a lot of those subjects which were math, science, art and graphic design based. Um, and once I completed there, I went to university. So what kind of attributes would make people fit for this industry? I think someone with a clear head. Um, you've got to be right across a number of fields of um, building, um, construction, engineering and things like that. You're not a master of any of those, you've got to rely on those specialised consultants, but you do have to understand them a little bit and take on board what they give you. Thank you Daniel for giving us an insight into architecture. It's good to see what kind of pathways students will have to take to get into architecture. No worries at all, thank you.